being born in a royal family is being born with a golden spoon as it's called entire upbringing is to see that i become the future custodian of the rich cultural heritage which has been passed on to me i was always protected and surrounded by servants all the time so i never actually was given a chance to even ride a bicycle i crossed the road for the first time when i was 16 all by myself and uh, it was quite a nightmare for me especially on the indian roads i always used to wonder why am i being imprisoned i got married to a princess when i was 25 years old an arranged marriage that was the worst decision of my life i've ever made to get married to a woman the marriage was not even consummated and it ended in a divorce i suffered for almost 30 years of my life not to accept my sexuality it was much later that i had the courage to come out and tell the world that yes i'm homosexual and i'm proud of it that was the best kind of a freedom which i experienced the story that was a front page news the prince of rajpipla declares that he is homosexual and that created a big earthquake because never before has somebody from a royal family declared that he is gay the local people burnt my images in the fire stating that i brought shame and humiliation to the society and i should be stripped off my title and exiled my own mother gave out uh, notices in the newspaper disowning me from the family and disinheriting me from the family properties yet within me there was a strength that was telling me that i am true to myself and what i'm doing is just not for myself but it is for the gay community of india that paved the way for debate on a subject which has always been hidden in our country nobody talks about sex so nobody talks about homosexuality in india being gay is considered a sin you have to fear the society's stigma and discrimination on a day to day basis people have the fear of coming out and even saying they are gay they are immediately shunned it's a taboo you cannot speak about it we are all born equal we are all human beings every individual has the right to live with the freedom of being what you are without having the fear of being discriminated I created the my foundation Lakshmi Trust because of the sufferings and pain which I underwent growing up and trying to accept my own sexuality. So I felt I could reduce the suffering from the gay community in my country. We work for HIV prevention amongst other things up for gay rights for gay empowerment. In October 2007 I was invited by Oprah Winfrey for her show. and that was a turning point in my life where a uh, lot of people who were uh, homophobic actually started changing or their attitude they realized that uh, there is substance to my fight it opened the gateways to a lot of uh, invitations coming from various countries the lakshya trust is an hiv aids organization that treats people in india that have hiv aids and prevents the spread of hiv aids by education by counseling spreading awareness about the disease and how it's contracted people are suffering and we need to put a stop to it we want to keep expanding our work and use this as a platform for global gay advocacy i would like to introduce mr dick cabot interviewing his highness crown prince on democracy Yes, which of us is Prince? <laughs> I am following the footsteps of Gandhi. One of the phrases which he often used was, uh, "Truth always prevails." When I'm fighting for gay rights, that's the same principle I'm holding on to, and that's that's truth or honesty. Shakespeare has said that this whole world is a theater. and we are all actors here and i see myself playing this role of a prince who has uh, come out as gay to the world uh, this was the role i was meant to do my mission in my life is to 
someday create free gay India. <laughs>